bricks and its reform agendas, advocacy or ambition. Hello and welcome. I'm Jelani Tisfai and this is News Analytica. In the last couple of years, the BRICS Alliance has carefully curated an identity as champion of the global south, positioning itself as a counterbalance to the dominance of Western powers. Over the past year, the bloc has amplified its rhetoric and actions towards reforming the existing international power structures. India, in particular, has emerged as a vocal proponent for UN Security Council reforms, while Russia champions reforms in the international financial architecture and further expansion of the bloc. This week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov announced plans to extend invitations to numerous Global South leaders to the upcoming BRICS Foreign Ministers meeting. Meanwhile, India's permanent representative to the UN emphasized the need for expanding Security Council membership to ensure legitimacy and representation during the last month intergovernmental negotiation on UNSC reform. But amidst these claims of solidarity, questions linger. Are BRICS nations genuinely leveling the global playing field, or is there a hint of geopolitical maneuvering beneath their altruistic veneer? Today, we will explore the bloc's reforms agenda and its implications for the world's most vulnerable nations. What began as a coalition of five nations officially expanded to encompass 10 at the onset of this year, welcoming the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Ethiopia, and Egypt into the collective. This enlargement solidifies the BRICS alliance as a formidable force representing approximately 3.5 billion people or 45% of the world's population. Economically, the collective strength of these nations has surpassed $28.5 trillion, constituting roughly 28% of the global economy. BRICS has always presented itself as a bloc of developing nations in contrast to the G7, which represent the seven most advanced and influential economies. From its inception, BRICS has fervently championed the need for reforms within the global security and financial frameworks. Central to its advocacy is the assertion that the current system disproportionately privileges Western powers at the expense of the vast majority of the world's population residing in the global south. The recent expansion seems to have emboldened the group to assertively advocate for systemic changes to the global security and financial architectures. Since the unprecedented financial sanctions imposed on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, Russia has emerged as a vocal proponent for reshaping the global financial architecture. It claims that the dollar's dominance has been weaponized to enforce the will of the US and its allies. A claim strongly shared by new member Iran that has been under US sanctions for the better part of the last 45 years. Efforts are underway within BRICS to advance a common currency while promoting the use of local currencies to mitigate reliance on the US dollar. Additionally, the bloc is working on a digital currency option to grant the bloc its own native currency offering. In parallel, India has spearheaded the charge demanding substantive reforms within the United Nations with aspirations to secure a permanent seat on the UN Security Council for itself. As global security challenges escalate and geopolitical fault lines deepen, calls for UN Security Council reform have grown louder. Ambassador Wuchiria Kambod's recent remarks at the UN General Assembly underscore India's unwavering commitment to this cause, stressing the urgent need for a more representative and effective Security Council. Despite the US and other permanent members backing India, progress in negotiations have been sluggish, if not stagnant, reflecting the entrenched complexities of the current UNSC composition. In the wake of increasing poverty and escalating conflicts, the imperative for reforming global power dynamics has become glaringly evident. At the same time, as BRICS nations assertively advocate for these reforms, it becomes increasingly apparent that the proposed changes heavily favor their individual interests. BRICS nations are not truly representative of the global south. China is the second largest global economy. India holds the title of the world's fifth largest economy. Brazil is the 11th, while Russia is often regarded as the second most powerful military power in the world. Despite positioning themselves as champions of the global south, the economic and military might of BRICS nations places them squarely among the world's most powerful nations. 
this reality prompts critical reflection on whether their reform initiatives generally prioritize the interests of the less powerful nations or if they primarily serve to advance their own individual interests. As the global community grapples with the imperative for reform, it is essential to scrutinize the motivations behind any advocacy and ensure that any proposed changes genuinely serve to empower the most vulnerable nations and foster a more equitable and representative international order. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.